We're in the rental car, just got off our flight. Here's what it looks like, it's literally so green. And yeah, we got a Camry, it's very, very nice. Today is move-in day. It is August 25th. We got to like pick our time slot and like the day we're moving in. So I'm moving in today at 10 after my roommate, she moves in like an hour before me. So yeah, I just got ready and dressed. I honestly don't know how to dress for like Michigan weather because it looks like sunny, but then it also looks like it's raining. So I'm like kind of confused. Um, and I, I don't know, it was hard for me to pick out an outfit to, because I was like, I want to be comfy, but I don't want to look like I just rolled out of bed. Anyway, um, so yeah, we're gonna drive over soon. Um, if you're using like my video for reference of like what move-in day is gonna look like, um, there's like a checklist online of like undergraduate move-in. I think you have to fill out like a form online I had to print out a parking permit. Um, you have to do a screening. And then there's also like some maps. And then in addition to that, you can get like your loft configuration and like a refrigerator if you want. So yeah, I just hope everything goes smoothly. Like I hope I printed out everything. I guess I'll keep you guys updated if like something goes wrong, but hopefully it goes smoothly. I know I'm supposed to get like my M card Basically today I just like moved more stuff in. Then my roommate and I walked around campus a little bit and then we got lunch. We went to Trader Joe's. I won't do like a full Trader Joe's haul, but I'll show you our snack cart because it's great. It's like the best part of the dorm. Here it is. So on top we have like some seasonings, utensils, blah, blah, blah. Trader Joe's stuff and then like more random snacks. But yeah, this is my first day in the dorm, like sleeping in it. And I still have like so much work to do. My bed is an absolute mess. Like my roommate side is so clean. And then uh, there's that, so. <laughs> okay, I'll give a little like updated dorm tour. It's not completely done yet. Also, sorry for like the background noise. It's really hot in here. So anyway, I have these like three bins up there, basically just storage. Then I have a rod. It doesn't come with this. Um, I like did this myself in a curtain and basically just like hides my clothes. So I have like a hanging thing there cause I don't have that many like hanging jackets. And then down there's my backpack and a shoe rack. And then here's the desk. Um, I moved the chair towards my bed because I can't get on the bed cause I'm too short. Um, but yeah, I just have more storage up there. There's like toiletries. That's like some school stuff, a lamp. Um, this is like random stuff, electronics. Oh, that's literally me. Um, <laughs> these are like actually really nice. Um, I put like some of my toiletries in here and I just like pick this up and take it to the bathroom. I got these from Home Goods. They're really useful. And jewelry, um, medicine. This is like random stuff. Here's like my other set of drawers. These are picture frames that I still have to put up, but I'm too scared to, so I'm gonna wait to do that. Um, my room is like a mess. Here's my chair. <laughs> um, here's my bed. I've been sleeping in it, so it's not that nice. Um, this like little clip, that's a lamp. We have a little food cart um, next to our microwave fridge. The fan's always going. Um, these are closed, cause it's like sunny and hot. Um, and then I have an extension cord. There's only one outlet in this whole room. So lots of extension cords. Um, I've been using this as a like nightstand. Um, so it's all I have. These are my AirPods. 
And then I just took a sheet to like hide stuff under here. But basically under here I have a little storage bin and then like my suitcase and some like random boxes. Uh, yeah, I don't really use stuff under the bed. I probably could put more stuff, but that's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna try to put some like paintings up here to like add more decor to my room, but I'm like kind of scared that they're gonna fall. So I need to test that out eventually. Okay, I apologize for the really bad lighting, but I haven't really given like timestamps or anything, but today is Sunday night and I spent the weekend basically at my roommate's house because it's not fun here. Like, I don't wanna like scare people, but I just like wanna be realistic and like be honest about the transition to college. Cause I was like, oh, it's gonna be so fun. Like coming from out of state, like, you know, you're so independent. Um, you're gonna meet so many people. Honestly though, it's kind of sucked. Um, I don't know if it has to do with like where my dorm is, but basically at Markley, the rooms are the smallest rooms on campus. They're like 11 by 12 feet. They are so hot. Like we have four fans in our room and I still can't sleep with any sheets on. It is so unbearable. We bought an AC, so hopefully that works. <sighs> um, it's about like a 20 minute walk to campus, which isn't horrible because I know North Campus is worse, but it's just like kind of far from places. Another thing I didn't know about Markley was one, that their hours are bad. They go from like, I think 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. and then it opens again at five to eight. So like the hours kind of suck and it's closed on the weekends. So you have to walk to Mojo, which like isn't bad. Mojo's like fine, but the dorm food is so bad. Like it's not good. It's painful. Um, I mean, I don't know if it's just cause I'm vegetarian, but it's, it's not good. Like I don't recommend. I miss like home cooked food so badly. And the heat just doesn't help because it like, it's just so gross outside. So that's just a little update. I still have work to do on my dorm, but yeah, classes start this week. So hopefully that helps because it's honestly really sad sitting in like this room. I don't know. I just, I don't hate it. I just, I'm like not happy here yet. So hopefully that changes soon. Good morning. Today is September 30th. It's the first day of classes. Um, I actually don't have class today because I don't have classes on Mondays, which is kind of annoying. Most people are like, oh, that's so nice. Like you have a three day weekend. Like it is nice, but like all my classes are crammed. They're like crammed between three days basically because I have one class on Friday. So those three days are kind of stressful, but at least I get like some more free days. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna like meet my friend for breakfast. I met her through RSC, Ross Summer Connection. And then we're gonna go walk to Ross and go pick up like a welcome packet. And then, I don't know what I'm gonna do after that. I have therapy and then I signed up for like a CAPS therapy, which is like the psychological services on campus. I'm pretty sure it's free. So I'd highly recommend if you wanna do that. Um, I think I just have like a consultation today, but oh yeah. And then I'm getting COVID tested because I'm scared of COVID. Um, I don't know if it's just cause I'm from LA and the restrictions and like mandates are really different and like everyone wears a mask inside. I don't know. I'm just like kind of freaked out about it. So I'm gonna get tested today and then It'll make me like feel better about starting classes and like being in large crowds, if that makes sense. I'm in my new favorite place on campus. I think it's called the Arb. I like the Arboretum. <laughs> I have allergies. Anyway, it's like right next to Markley. It's on the same street. Um, came here with my roommate yesterday, but we got attacked by bugs, so we left. I'm still getting attacked by bugs, but I don't care because it's like beautiful. Um, anyway, 
I had breakfast with my friend from RSC, which was really nice. We walked around campus, got our raw stuff. We got a little speaker, which is really nice um, and actually would be useful, I think. So I did that. And then I went to Mojo to take my call for therapy, ate lunch. The lunch was actually edible today. So that's good. And then I just came to the R because I needed a private place to like have this call um, with caps. And there's just like nowhere private on campus, I'm gonna be honest. Like the second floor of Mojo is pretty nice, but this is like so peaceful and there's actually like pretty good cell reception here. So I just took my call from here, it was really good. And yeah, I'm just sitting here eating lentil curls. It's also like cool here in the shade with all the trees. And I'm just waiting for my roommate to get back so we can go get COVID tested. Yay. If I could take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I knew My will is strong with a place to lean In the moment I hung best belief The other ring on my wrist is gold Pairing with the light it holds when I return from my skin and bone, I'm remembering the words you told me. I think it's kind of harsh, but anyway, I will give a recap on my first day of school so far. So basically, I ate breakfast on Mark Lee and then I walked to East Hall. East Hall, I have my statistics 206 class. It was good. We just like kind of went over like the syllabus I guess first days are like really boring um and then I had that one was at 8 30 and so I ended at 10 and then my next class didn't start till 11 30 so I had like a lot of time so I went to see where my two next classes were because I had no clue um but these next two classes I had no clue and it actually ended up taking me like 20 minutes each to find them so good thing i did that so i would highly recommend looking at all your classes before and then i stopped at south quad for well, i wanted lunch but it was still breakfast time so i got breakfast it was so nice like it looks like a food court in a mall like a really nice one it is so nice like makes Martha look horrible even mojo um so i'd highly recommend eating there if like you have classes on campus and yeah now i'm in west quad um it's kind of random like west quad is a dorm but there's like classrooms here so i have dutch studies at 11 30 um it's like a first year seminar class so that's what i'm waiting for right now and then after that my classes are like back to back so i have to run from like west quad to mason hall which isn't like too far it's probably like 0.2 miles um to my calculus class math 115 so those are all the classes i have for today um also, my COVID test came back negative, which is good, but I did hear that someone tested positive in our dorm, so. Yay, second wave of COVID. I'm so annoying. Like, can people just wear their masks inside? Like, it's not hard. I have mine. I'm just in the bathroom and, like, no one's in here, so. Today is Thursday. I had my 8.30 statistics class and my next class is until 11.30 so I have about like an hour and a half so I'm just going to do some homework and edit. I'm in West Quad right now. Really? <laughs> I got food from South. That looks good. Yeah. 
It's Wait, like, did they give you that? Oh, did you take the Tupperware with you? Yeah, it's oh kind God, of like the dining that. to go. You just have to make sure you say dining to go. Okay. And then you get like a special slip. Oh my God. This nice. thing looks questionable. Yeah. It's Wait. like kale and, <laughs> kale and the mushrooms. The mac and cheese looks really good. Yeah, it's like Alfredo and then this is like Brussels sprouts. So it actually like looks pretty decent. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see. Green beans look a little sad. Oh, yeah. Let's try. I mean, they're all right. Okay, Brussels sprouts with cumin. They don't taste like cumin. And they're like soggy. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> okay. This is the questionable thing. It's like kale and mushroom. Oh god, no. That's horrible. Mm -mm. There's something weird in there. Okay, Alfredo pasta. This better be good. Cause like, if you mess up pasta, it's kind of sad. Mmm. That's pretty good. What about like ten out of ten? You just said ten out of ten. Yeah. Oh my god. But you want to try it? The Alfredo is actually like really good. You can try like the breast smell or whatever too. Okay. Can I support? Yeah. Okay. The Alfredo is like actually really good. It's so much better than like the mac and cheese I had here. <laughs> oh yeah, here. Was South Cottage is so much better. Mmm. That's surprising. It's really good. It's like edible. Yeah. <laughs> it tastes good. Oh like god. if I got that in a restaurant, I'd be happy. Right. What the heck? They're better with Alfredo like more times. Okay, so I just got back from class. My skin is so bad. Like the masks. Mm mm doesn't do it for my skin yeah the last time i talked to you guys i was studying at west quad then i had my dutch class i i don't know i kind of didn't think i would like my dutch class i'll put like all the classes i'm taking in case anyone has like questions or like wants to know what like a first year ross or like business student would take um i can like talk more in depth about that if people have like questions too about courses um, but yeah, I'm taking this first year seminar class. I think it's called like Dutch 160. It's basically about Dutch colonization, which I kind of just took it because I needed the credits and um, I'm actually liking it. I like history. I'm just really bad at it. I think that's the problem. So I had that. It's in West Quad, which is right across the street from South. South has the best food. So I was like, I'm going to go to South for lunch. Like, why would I walk back to Markley when I'm like already at South, you know? um the line is really long that's one thing to take in consideration is places like well, i've only been at three but mojo and south fill up really fast like never have i had to wait for anything at markley like you know it's it's usually like pretty empty and i like to study at markley a lot which is actually like pretty nice anyway so yeah i went to south um if you want to get like the takeout stuff i just did like my little review <laughs> Um, I ate everything except for this nasty stuff. They give you this box, so it's supposed to be, like, more sustainable. And then I have, like, my own cutlery and stuff at my dorm. Like, I just keep reuse this. Yeah, anyway, if you want to do that, you swipe your card, but you tell them that you're doing to go. And they give you, like, a ticket so then they can keep track of these things or else they'll charge you. I did not do that this time. This was my first time. So now I know. Just letting everyone know. Um, but, yeah, the food was, like really good south is so much better like way more options the only downside about the dining to go is that there are less options but i mean if you're like you know on the go or something i think it's great um so yeah i did that i also just picked up a package i got this like little soap thing um this is something i didn't think about but basically, I don't like using body wash. Body wash is probably like the easiest thing to use um, in a dorm. I hate body wash. I just like never feel clean when I use it. Um, so I have my soap, but I didn't have like anything to put my soap in. So I ordered these off of Amazon. Um, basically, basically around Markley, they have like signs of how you get your mail sent to you. Like your new address, I guess you could say. And then it'll get sent to Markley... Then they have to like register it through their system and then there's like a mail room which is like really close to the dining hall and you go to pick it up so those got delivered on the 30th today's the second um it's fine it's fine 
but yeah it does take like a little bit of time so when you see amazon one day delivery but you live in markley it's like amazon like five day shipping you know just like out on the time you know what i'm saying oh we also got let me show you guys we also got this little thing off of amazon it's like a portable ac so basically on the side we need to fill it up with water uh you put water in here and it it's like a fan but the air is just like so much colder i'm just gonna study and later i have my communications class i'm taking com 102 so i will vlog that it is online for the lecture part of it and then the discussions are in person but i think discussions are like only once in a while so um i can like vlog that too if people want to see that um also in this vlog will not be my ba 100 class i am taking that but part of my ba 100 class is that we don't go to class the first week or like the first class because it's only once a week so i actually start that class next week but maybe i can do like a day in my life or something and show you guys like my actual ba 100 class and maybe like my communications in person class let you guys know what it's like because i feel like a lot of people are curious about like business and yeah like the business administration class that's a required course so if anyone has questions or just like requests of like any michigan stuff like dining halls anything about the campus um courses ross like let me know i can film a video i'll try my best to like give good information but just like let me know because i don't know what people want okay my calm class is actually asynchronous so don't have that i'll just wait for the lecture to be posted but i'm in markley and i'll do a food review i got grapefruit and avocado salad i was just excited they had avocados because they can never do and then pasta broccoli and bread and cauliflower so mojo's pasta was like disgusting so i added like some more lettuce because i don't like a lot of dressing not bad pretty good wait no cauliflower I've ever had the breaded cauliflower temp like tempura dip broccoli. It's fine, just overcooked. Okay, pasta. Better than Mojo, I'll tell you that.